A North Devon family of five are leaving this week to spend a year helping AIDS orphans in Africa. The Skinners from Ilfracombe have given up their jobs and schooling to go to Swaziland. Our North Devon reporter, Philip Lote, has been to meet them. Hi, I'm Charlotte, I'm 18. I'm Sean and I'm 16. I'm Rachel and I'm 16. Hi, I'm Jude. Hi, I'm John Skinner. We live in Ilfracombe, but we're heading out for somewhere very, very different. They're going thousands of miles away to Swaziland in southern Africa and will be settling down to their new life in the northern town of Bulembo. So when we actually fly, it'll be Johannesburg to Cape Town. And this will be a family outing yeah. with a difference, going to a country with the world's biggest HIV problem. Swaziland has 120,000 orphans out of a population of a million people. The actual emotional side of it could you know, really affect me because you've got children that are um, dying of AIDS around you and, you know, it's all as well the unknown because we just don't know what it's going to be like when we get there, really. John, a teacher, will teach orphans in a newly opened school. Jude, a nurse, will work in a health clinic. Their daughters will help care for abandoned babies and other youngsters. It's important to us that, that we're actually a family unit, that this is something that we all want to do. And, uh, you know, all the girls are excited in, in anticipation of what's going to happen. Sean, Rachel and Charlotte will be putting their normal lives on hold for a year. But they're looking forward to the challenge and think the experience is bound to change them for the better. I think we'll, I think we'll be less selfish in a way in how we um, use sort of d our different resources and everything because they've got so little out there. Yeah, I think like we'll appreciate things much more when we come back and like we'll like see that more as well and other people will think as well. Yeah, and see how much like m much stuff people have over here and all the little kids over there who just have like maybe a little ball just to play with or something like that. If all goes well, the family say they may even stay in Swaziland an extra year. Philip Lote, BBC Spotlight, Ilfracombe.